Hi guys, Ryan here from the Swim Pro Lab. Uh, just going to give you guys a bit of a download on how to adjust these advanced settings um, in your cameras. So uh, the Swim Pro cameras have a wide dynamic range setting. Now what that actually does is allows for dual shutter speeds. Um, good in some instances, uh, not so good when underwater. So you're above water shots, yeah, it's going to uh, wide dynamic range is fantastic. Below water, uh, we don't recommend it. Uh, also, I'm going to show you how to manually adjust the shutter speeds. Um, for those who are a little bit more advanced, you can adjust the uh, camera bit rate. So you could probably add about another 30% um, to your image quality by adjusting the bit rate. But uh, keep in mind, uh, iPads struggle around the 12 megabits per second we have uh, the ca current cameras set to. Um, it's fine, it, it works well. Anything above this is going to be iPad dependent. So if you've got the latest iPad, um, look, it shouldn't, it shouldn't worry it. So you can set the camera up to about uh, 17 megabits per second. So anyway, let, let me show you how to step through and change these wide dynamic range settings, change the shutter speed and change the bit rate. So here's my camera down here. I've, I've simply just got a wall cam instance open. Uh, you can see that in, in this case here, I could probably put the shutter down a little bit lower, um, but I, I can show you that. So here's, my, here's what I've done on my computer. So I'm going to step you through that. So firstly, I need to open a web browser. I need to ensure that I'm connected to the Swim Pro network. Uh, so Swim Pro IQ2 underscore 5 gigahertz, or you can do the 2.4 gigahertz on, on your laptop or on your iPad or uh, any smart device, in fact. I then go to my web browser. I put in www.swimmingcam.com forward slash settings.php. So just on that note, obviously you have to have the SwimPro router connected to the internet to connect to this site. So you're just plugging your broadband connection into the WAN port of the router and then the SwimPro uh, IQ2 5 gigahertz or SwimPro IQ2 2.4 gigahertz will be on the internet. So that's just how you reach this, this setting screen here. We do have a local setting screen. Um, so if you visit 192.168.1.16, um, you can also connect to the settings. Uh, but this is, these settings here, uh, we've added the functionality to change the wide dynamic range setting and also uh, some other advanced settings. Um, it will be in our next uh, electric eel update. So just, just note that. So anyway, you connected the router, SwimPro router, to the, uh, your broadband connection. You've connected uh, to the SwimPro IQ2 5 gigahertz network on your laptop or smart device. And you've visited swimmingcam.com forward slash settings.php. OK, in this case here, you select your camera. I have a wall cam. Um, now I can change the shutter speed like that. And I press apply. I can also change the bit rate. So these, note that these settings here aren't what the camera's set to. They just literally push the settings to the camera. So again, this is for advanced users. So note that uh, these settings aren't currently what the camera is set to. It just literally, you select the setting and push it to the camera. So I can select my bit rate here. I can select uh, my, my uh, frequent power frequency filter. So the cameras, the SwimPro cameras uh, by default is set to uh, the 60 hertz setting. Um, if you're getting lines through your video, uh, scrolling down your video, then you are having a, a light um, sync problem. So you need to come in here, select the camera of, of, uh, of focus, and then select your power frequency filter. So if you're in Australia, for example, select 50 hertz. If you're in the United States, select 60 hertz. Now, if you're, out, if you're operating these things outdoors, uh, select the outdoor settings. It just allows for a more dynamic, flexible shutter, automatic shutter speed. So, okay, so I select 50 hertz there in Australia. I press apply. Now, in this case, it says successful. Um, that's because I've already done this in the past. For those who have who've never done this, it's going to pop up a username and password box. Simply enter the username admin or lowercase a d m i n and then the password is the number four skyline all one word or lowercase 
number four, S-K-Y-L-I-N-E, and then you'll be able to apply that to the camera. So you'll get a successful if it's applied. So again, once you put that password in once for that particular camera, uh, in this case the wall cam, you won't have to do that again off that machine, off your laptop or smart device, etc. So if you want to change more settings after the successful screen, simply press back and you'll go back into the screen. And you can again select your different cameras. So for those of you who have a six cam system, go through and select all your cameras, fiddle around with the shutter speeds, uh, and enjoy your Swim Pro system. Thanks a lot.